Hi everybody, I'm Tatiana Ward, aka Beat Face Honey, here on YouTube. You are watching Jean-Francois CD's Naughty or Nice series, which he was so nice to ask me and my cat Loretta Lynn to be a part of. Yay! Loretta Lynn, are you so excited to be a part of Jean-Francois' Naughty or Nice Christmas series? That was a yes. Clearly. Clearly! She's super excited to be a part of this. See? She's so excited! Alright guys, if you want to see how I accomplished my version of the Naughty or Nice Christmas series, then I hope you'll stay tuned to watch. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a very, very, a very, very dark base to my lids because I'm using a black color. So I'm going in with a very, very creamy, and when I say creamy, extremely creamy, like almost melting, um, uh, Kajal liner. It is called Onyx from Stila, and I'm just going to. You don't need a lot because I'm telling you this sucker melts like. So I'm just dropping, drop dotting my lid but I'm telling you you don't need a lot because this just glides on really really easily so as you can see I'm just placing this on my mobile lid for now and like I said in a previous video I love it I love and I hate this product just need to be very very precise with it because I'm telling you it, it is a it can be a mess and after I'm going in with just a more um, a dense brush, if I can find a 239 somewhere. Perfect. So I have a 239 over here, just in my other hand. And I'm just, right now, just putting that on the lid, like I said, but just a little bit in the crease. Then I'm going in with my 239 brush. And I'm just going to move that color a little bit. Just so that we don't have like a harsh line. Oh, and I forgot something very, very important. Just before I start blending it out, I'm going to use surgical tape. Like that. And I'm just going to make a line. It's going to help me because I'm... <sighs> it's everywhere on my wall. So I'm just taking surgical tape and I'm just going to create an angle over here. So now I can go in with my black that I had and I'm just a little bit bringing it on the side over here then taking my 239 and just like just barely blend the edges you just want not such a crisp sharp line but you see you sort of have your base right now so we're gonna move on to the black eyeshadow so I'm going to use carbon from MAC which is a matte black this look is going to be very simple. We're only using two colors on the lid, so maybe three, but you know. Then I'm just pressing that color right onto the lid. Make sure you top off any excess, especially if you want to wear this out. Don't do your foundation before. So you see, after you apply the eyeshadow, it gets like midnight. Actually, if I would have my own cosmetic line, I think I would call my black midnight black or something do you like that or just midnight because black you know it's black duh yeah midnight I should copyright that because I know people are gonna steal my ideas so just a little bit into the crease just because we're gonna pick up the color once we start blending just like that then you need a really, really uh, pointy, fluffy brush. So I'm going to use, um, I have loads of fluffy brushes if you know what I mean. <laughs> then you want to take a medium fluffy brush with just a kind of a very, um, not too defined tip, but a little bit pointier than just a regular fluffy flaring out type of brush. Well, I hate that. You know when you wear makeup and you take your glasses off, you have like your your whatever it's called, your stamp. Anyways, taking that fluffy brush, going right into the crease 
and just windshield washer motion, people. Motions. You may use this motion for other things, who knows, but I use it mostly for a windshield washer or a dance, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No? Okay. And then you want to do that windshield washer motions or maybe even circular motions for about a hundred times. Do you know what I'm saying, boo? Do, do you know what I'm saying, shouty? Shouty! Do you know what I'm saying, shouty? So, once again, the trick, if you watch my previous videos, it's blending, reapplying some color, blending, reapplying some color, blending, reapplying some color, blending, reapplying some color, and, um... Blending and reapplying some color. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is so funny. After I'm gonna go in with a brush that kind of flares out more. And it's just going to help with uh, the blending, like in a bigger region. Now we are not there yet. You need more black. So I'm going in with my kind of pointy, fluffy brush, taking black. And apply, tilting my head back just because it's gonna help with the fallout. It's gonna like land on my lid and not on my face. And going straight into the crease. And for this look, I'm not gonna bring the black right underneath the brow. I'm mostly going to kind of elongate the eye upwards and on the side of the face over here. So if you want to use like a pointier brush for the inner corner, you are more than welcome. Then going in with my softer blending brush, you see this one flares out way more. So it's going to help with the blending. Then of course, just because the intensity, I'm applying some more black onto the lid. Then just because my inner corners over here need some more blending, I'm going in with just a pencil brush, just to kind of smooth it out over here. So as a highlight, you can just skip this step, but I'm going to use a very, very naked pigment, <laughs> which is called Naked by MAC, just like this. It is just a skin tone color with some shimmer to it. Just taking a um, stiff flat brush and applying that right underneath the brow over here. And this is gonna be like our highlight. We don't want too much color, we just want to raise them brows up to the forehead. Up to the hairline actually. Because you want to look amazed all night. Even if you drunk. <laughs> so actually what I'm gonna do, which is my favorite part of this, is I'm gonna use a silver liner. Well, actually I'm gonna make my own if I can find my brush. No, that's not my brush. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you the colors I'm going to use. Probably two pigment, loose pigments. I'm going to use Tierra from Sugar Pill Cosmetics, which is a very, very nice silver. And depending if it's opaque enough and not light enough, um, I might use just a little bit on top some white uh, pigment from these what they called Folie Blanche. Oh, it's oh, I just spit on you right there. I see it in the camera. It's all good. Your spit is my spit, boo. Pointy brush. Now this is going to be my first time using this, like, a bend. I didn't put it in my mouth, literally, people. I didn't, I don't lick my brushes. Anyways, um, yeah, so you want to wet that or use some Vaseline, uh, Visine. But, yeah, Visine, Vaseline. <laughs> Not the same thing. Um, yeah, so, oh, Jesus Christ. Just use a little bit of water. And I'm gonna dip my brush. You know, you wanna dip it real good right in there. So, going in straight into the inner tear duct. And just creating my line. And the silver on top of black, I'm telling you, it's gonna look fantastic. Next, I want to use a black coal liner. Now, I'm going to switch because the other one runs a little bit too much. The steel I've used runs too much for me onto the waterline. So, I'm going to tight line with a uh, feline from MAC. And I coal power, I believe. Coal power eye pencil. Same thing. Now, after you want to go back into your matte black color. And with that, um, well, any liner brush will do. But just a very, very, I'm going to use the edge of that pencil over here. I'm just using the matte black color. And I very, very gently want to run that 
kind of into onto the uh, water line but I'm also smudging it just a little bit if you don't want to do anything to ouch that was just my eye after you want to apply your favorite lashes I'm going to apply a gift that I received from my a beautiful and very very generous uh, friend Lady Coco see it's been a while since I've used MAC lashes not that I don't like them but they're a little bit on the pred, uh, prettier uh, pricier uh, side so she bought me the mac uh lashes in number one which is like very very it looks maybe to some of you it looks like a lot but they look very very natural i'm not going with like my usual bold crazy lashes because once again oh sweet jesus i'm back i'm not going in with my uh usual uh crazy lashes because this look is all about the liner and I, you don't want to lose the liner and if you apply lashes, try to go a little bit thicker with the liner, so like it's more obvious, and people are are, are not like trying to find somebody something on your eye or somebody, whatever. So I've applied the lashes and also a couple of coats of mascara, just a very very thin coat onto the lower lash line. Now let's move on to the blush. I'm gonna go in with uh, something on the deep rose end, if I could say it's a um, kind of a dusty rose color. It is called Notable. It is a very, very nice blush if you want to like bring out, uh, let's say if you want to rock like a red lip because it's not a red blush, but it has like a tinge to it and it just to the two together go very, very well. And I'm just going to apply that just along the cheek over here. Mute out your lips, use a clear lip tar, mix I'm mixing Folie Blanche with some Tierra from MAC, from Sugar Pill, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to make it my own color. And there we have it. This is the completed look. A very, very dramatic type of eye for the holidays. Now, if you want to remove the lips, you can add another color. You can definitely do so. And please, please, please make sure you check out Beat Face Honey. Tat is an amazing artist. Sometimes I think we're like brothers and sisters because we kind of think the same way when it comes to like doing looks and things of that nature. So please check her out and support her. I'll put the link in the info bar below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next year with this series once again. Bye. My darlings, I thank you all for watching. I love you all. I need your love. I, I need your love. I thank you all.